Hi friends, this is Suma from softwaretestingmaterial.com. In this video, we are going to see Software Development Lifecycle. Software Development Lifecycle, shortly SDLC. SDLC aims to produce high quality system that meets or exceeds customer expectations, works effectively and efficiently in the current and planned information technology infrastructure, and is inexpensive to maintain and cost effective to enhance. The process followed in a software project is SDLC. Each phase of SDLC produces deliverables required by the next phase in the life cycle. Requirements are translated into design. Code is produced according to the design. Testing should be done on developed product based on requirement. Deployment should be done once the testing was completed. A typical software development lifecycle consists of the following phases. First one, requirement phase, analysis phase, design phase, development phase, testing phase, deployment and maintenance phase. Let's see each and every phase in detail. First one, requirement phase. Requirement gathering and analysis is the most important phase in software development lifecycle. Business analyst collects the requirement from the customer or client as per the client's business needs and documents the requirements in the business requirement specification. Document name varies depends upon the organization. Some examples are customer requirement specification CRS, business specification BS, business requirement document, etc. and provides the same to the development team. Analysis phase. Once the requirement gathering and analysis is done, the next step is to define and document the product requirements and get them approved from the customer. This is done through software requirement specification document. SRS consists of all the product requirements to be designed and developed during the project lifecycle. Key, pe key people involved in this phase are project manager, business analyst and senior members in the team. The outcome of this phase is software requirement specification. Design phase. This phase has two steps. HLD, high level design. It gives the architecture of the software product to be developed and is done by architects or senior developers. LLD Low Level Design It is done by senior developers. It describes how each and every feature in the product should work and how every component should work. Here only the design will be there and not the code. The outcome from this phase is high level document and low level document which works as an input to the next phase. Development phase Developers of all levels, seniors, juniors, freshers involved in this phase. This is the phase where we start building the software and start writing the code for the product. The outcome from this phase is source code, document and the developed product. Testing phase When the software is ready, it is sent to the testing department where test team test it thoroughly. They either test the software manually or using automated testing tools depends on process defined in STLC and ensure that each and every component of the software works fine. Check out our video on STLC and its phases for clear understanding on software testing lifecycle. Once the QA makes sure that the software is error free, it goes to the next stage which is implementation. The outcome of this phase is the quality product and the testing artifacts. Check out our video on test deliverables. We have discussed on list of the test artifacts we deliver in STLC. List out the test deliverables is one of the most popular interview questions. Deployment and maintenance phase. 
After successful testing the product is delivered or deployed to the customer for their use. Deployment is done by the deployment or implementation engineers. Once when the customer start using the developed system, then the actual problems will come up and needs to be solved from time to time. The process where the care is taken for the developed product is known as maintenance. 100% testing is not possible because the way testers test the product is different from the way customers use the product. Maintenance should be done as per service level agreement. Let's see types of software development lifecycle models. Waterfall Spiral V model Prototype and Agile the other related models are rapid application development, rational unified model, hybrid model, etc. We will see most important software development lifecycle models in detail in the upcoming videos. This is all about software development lifecycle. Thanks friends. If you have any queries, please comment below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like the video. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Have a good day.